Hey guys, and welcome to Piano Shack with me, Woody. Thanks for joining me. Now, this is the video some of you have been asking for. Yes, we are going to put this, the Korg M1 from 1988, up against this. Let me show you. Yes, we're going up against this in a head-to-head -head shootout with Korg's very own M1 VST plugin. This is called the M1 Legacy Edition. So here's how I did the comparison. I played the M1 whilst capturing the video, the audio, and the MIDI. So you can see here on my digital audio workstation, you can see the MIDI that I captured as I was playing, and up here we have the waveform of the audio that I captured directly from the synthesizer's outputs. Then what we did is played this same MIDI file through the plugin and captured the audio, which is down in this track here below. So the plugin is playing exactly what I was playing on the M1 together with the velocity and the aftertouch. After doing that, I exported the audio track of the plugin, the audio track of me playing the real thing, and I put them into my video editor, and you can see how I've chopped them up here. So we'll have a little bit of the me playing the real thing, then the plugin, the real thing, then the plugin, and so on. It was quite a lot of work to do this comparison for you, so I really hope you enjoy it. Let's show you the result right now.
So there you go. It sounds very, very close, I think. And in fact, there's no reason why it shouldn't because they're both from the same manufacturer and Korg, of course, have access to all of the samples and the waveforms that they used in the original M1. And there's also an iPad version that you might want to check out. And the price, by the way, I think this one is 40 or $50, the VST version, but I bought it on sale for half price. So for like $25, you're getting all of the sounds of the M1. It's really fabulous. You may have noticed that the reverb effects on the VST were more pronounced on some of the presets than on the original M1. And this puzzled me a bit and I dug around on the settings on the plugin, but uh, it just seems to me like Korg for some reason chose to have more reverb. And it's not a bad thing. It actually makes it sound a little bit richer. You can hear it on the slap bass preset, for example. You can of course dial down the reverb to get it exactly the same as the original M1. So I really hope you enjoyed the comparison. It was a lot of work for me to do. So if you enjoyed the results, then please go ahead and leave a like. It means a lot to me. I appreciate the feedback. Go ahead also and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And thank you if you have. I'll be right back with you soon with another video. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.